Today is the day. I'm a little nervous, excited, but nervous. Today is the day we're bringing home our new livestock guardian dog. And I hate to keep calling her that, but I know we haven't yet revealed her name to you. But Bill came over yesterday. It did rain yesterday. It actually rained quite a bit. Uh, but he came over and got the work done that we needed done before that happened. And, and he got enough done where we can now start building Daisy's shelter. Take a look at how much flat area is out there. Now there's a different color dirt right here. It's all still the same. It might look a little bit lower, but it's the same. It's just a different dirt that was brought in. But her enclosure is basically going to be 20 by 10, maybe 25 by 10. It'll be a lean-to structure, and it'll be facing that way. So the sun rise, but then for most of the day, she'll have shade. And then in front of it, there will just be like a little pinned-in yard area. So that's ready to get started once I finish the roof on the cottage, which will be done this week. And that'll give me, what, two... She's coming December 1st, so we'll have October. No, so two full months, basically, to get that done and ready for her. So I'm going to go finish getting ready, and then we're going to head out to go get our new dog. Okay, so we are almost there. And we're a little nervous because we don't want to screw this dog up. She's coming bred with certain capabilities, like in her blood. And I just have this feeling that we're going to do something to unravel all that. Now she has been living with trained Marema sheepdogs for nine months, so hopefully that gets us off to a much better start, but what? She won't listen to us because she'll know better. Well, that's what they say about it. But anyway, we'll be there soon. That's a big dog. And she's only like half grown. <laughs> well, we didn't film any more after we got home. The trip home yesterday started out great, yeah. but about halfway through, not so great. We had some barfaronis, some barf issues. <laughs> um, it's funny when I was starting to think about this video and talking about yesterday, I started to real. Like, I was trying to figure out what word I should use for vomit because I hate the word vomit. Barfaroni. But I never realized how many words vomit has like, like how many ways you can say vomit there's like more words for vomit than any other word i think let me know down below what you guys call vomit <laughs> like because there's Can't wait to see those comments. there's puke vomit spew barf spew wretch toss your cookies oh yeah there's more i thought of more earlier yeah put them down below so anyway that happened a couple times we had Poor some baby. some barf issues and then i almost had some barf issues because i don't deal well with barf yeah. Boomer was considered my dog, and so I had to take care of it. And well, then, that, that was the problem. And then, I said it too soon. Uh-huh. On the way home, I said, this is my dog. Everyone remember, this is my dog. Boomer loves you. Not so much me. This is my dog. Well, when he threw up, guess what she said? It's your dog. Have fun. So I did gag a couple times, but I, I did it. I cleaned he it did. up. I'm very proud. Now you know you can do it. Yeah. To be fair, she did Noah's and Boomer's, so I it I was think my turn. It, it was my turn. Yeah, I had Noah's. Okay, so we do. And I did help you. I did end up helping you clean it some of it up. Yeah. Yeah. You did. Yeah, because I felt bad, so I. I don't think so. Yeah, I cleaned her up. Oh, that's right. Mm. Okay, so before we introduce you, because she is home and settling in, and then and we will tell you her name. Mm -hmm. A couple of you, maybe two. There was a few in the comments that got either very close or they got kind right of the on. short name, but I think only one or two got the full name. Yes, yes. Well, not the full full name, but the, well, the yeah, full no. first name. So we were thinking because, as we told you, she's an Italian dog, which is kind of interesting because Emily's Italian, and I'm Irish, and Daisy's Irish. So hopefully they'll get along as well as we do. <laughs> <laughs> but so we were thinking. Should we like really spice things up and, and give her her commands in Italian? Teach her the Italian words for sit, stay, come, that kind of thing. That way we're more patient because we're learning Italian as she's learning anything. I mean, she kind of knows how to do things. It's just that. Yeah, I mean, the thing about. They're super smart. The thing about Maremmas is they're really, really smart, but they're also independent and they feel a lot of the times that they know better mm -hmm. 
their job than you do. And so you kind of have to go with that and just work on correction. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's very smart. And we do have to train to come and sit and stay because those are important for just everyday use plus her work. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit on both ends to work with her because she's she's strong willed in her job and we've got to teach her to work with us too yeah. that's not just her job so but already great on a, on a leash i mean she doesn't pull she doesn't she kind of prances yeah, she's... maybe it's because she's the size of a horse <laughs> <laughs> another cool thing about the maremma is they come from abruzzi mm -hmm. my grandmother was from abruzzi yeah so that's kind of cool too yeah um, so a couple of comments that we also noticed were people in the last video in the last video were people asking um, why can't she be allowed indoors? Uh, she can come indoors and uh, visit us. She just doesn't want to. She actually doesn't want to. Their breed, they want to work. They want to be outside. They want to be with their um, animals that they're guarding, and uh, they want to see what's going on. They want to make sure that they're doing their job. So in case a uh, coyote or something comes up, they want to be on guard and ready they don't want to be inside being lazy so they actually prefer to be outside yeah it was inside. it was hard enough it took me a long time to just get her up onto the covered deck last night mm -hmm. and then it took forever to get her into the garage which is where she's actually staying right now yeah. uh, i'll let you know why a little bit later actually we'll talk about it right now i showed you the the kennel that i had set up mm -hmm. for her um and so some people were asking why is she going to be in a kennel? Um, isn't it going to be covered? She shouldn't be out in the elements. So, first of all, she's been out in the elements her whole life, which interestingly enough, which we haven't said, we were saying she was nine months old, but actually she's seven, seven months, months old. She'll be eight months on the, th the 12th. 12th. So 12th, on the 12th, a couple weeks, she'll be eight months old. Mm -hmm. So she's younger than we thought, still a beast. But the kennel... Uh, I was going to put a roof on it just to keep the dew off of her because it's getting moist now during the night. Um, no one likes that word moist. I was just going to say, did you really use the word moist? It's getting damp <laughs> at night. And then some other people were wondering, why, if, think, thinking I should have pinned it down, hooked it to the ground so she can't push it. Yeah, she is big. Yeah. And when we put her in it yesterday, she started to kind of dig a little bit. And it's decomposed granite and gravel underneath it. So I was getting worried about being out there the whole night because if she dug under, and I don't know if she could or would, mm -hmm. but we still don't have that hole in the fence closed. Right. So we had a family over last night to meet her. Mm -hmm. And fortunately we had, you know, my brother-in-law and my nephew and my son and my dad, and we picked up the entire kennel and moved it into the garage mm -hmm. where she's gonna stay for a few days until I get that hole closed. Right. But she doesn't live in the kennel. So I think some people thought that she was going to be like living in that. That she's just in the kennel right now while she gets the lay of the land. She, we take her out, out and she's leashed and we, you know, she gets to wander around the territory and see where everything, it, the territory, the property. Her gets, territory. It is her territory. Um, she wanders around the property and uh, while she's getting used to things. So she's got to be in there when we're not with her for, for a couple three weeks. weeks. Yeah. And we take her out. She's been out already three times this morning as we've only been yeah. up two hours. So she's not caged. She just has to be in there when we're not watching her. And that's important because she she's not a puppy. I mean, she is, but if she was a puppy and knew eight weeks old, mm -hmm. she doesn't have any home imprinted on her, but she's seven months old. So she has her old home. She was still with her parents. With her parents, her grandparents. Well, we don't want her to go back home to yeah. try to leave. Yeah. She might, until she realizes that she's loved and she's okay here, you know, we want to make sure she's safe and that she doesn't try to get back home. So that's the, the reason for the kennel. Mm -hmm. But she's pretty happy. She's a very happy smiley dog. Yeah. She, her tail's coming out from between her legs. It was pretty much between her legs the whole time yesterday. She, yeah, she started wagging. wagging. So yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there quickly. Yeah. And we were both at different times of last night. Um, new parents in a way, I think it was. I got up at like. 3.30, and I checked on her. <laughs> and I was up at 6.30, I'm like, okay, I gotta go and out there. So I went out there to see if she was sleeping, and she's like, hi. <laughs> she wanted to come and sit with me, and you know, she was all happy. Yeah, okay, I think we've done enough talking now. I know you guys I are know. ready to meet her, so let me go get her. Okay. All right, brace yourselves, because if you're expecting a little ball of fluff, that's not what you're gonna get. You guys ready? All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you are so big. <laughs> All right, look at the camera. Look, you want to say hi? Say hi to everybody. Okay, big everybody. smiles. Meet Isabella Biscotti. Isabella Biscotti, probably Bella. more commonly called Bella Biscotti or Bella or Izzy. Hi. Boomer has like 10 names and he, he answers to all of them, so. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> You're such a good girl. You're so big. You are. You are a big horse. I've never wanted a big dog, but I have to say I'm probably, and don't let Boomer hear this, but I'm more in love with this dog than I've ever been. Any dog, you're Boomer's favorite. So. I know. I am. Yeah. He would not care if I was gone tomorrow. Well, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Yes, she's a very good sweetheart, and she's definitely is a love, and she loves you. Yay. She's ginormous. We're gonna have to show these paws at some point. Here, Hold pause. Hold on to her. And say hello. Oh, say hi. But look at these paws. And Emily's slippers. Sorry. Look at these paws. They're as big as that mountain lion's paws. And these legs. And she's still growing. Yeah, she's like half the size she's gonna be, guys. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be a big girl. Bella. Bella. You say hi, Dai. Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're a smiley girl. <laughs> say hi, everybody. We all know she's gonna be the star of the channel. Yeah, she is. <laughs> I love her so much. Hi. Yeah, you could grow interesting to watch her stop and where she smells and you know you kind of know an animal's been there go down here I haven't been down here too much yet come down Right here, this is where you're going to be spending a lot of time. So, I've been going back and forth on which, uh, on what to close the hole in the fence up with. And I think anything that is going to be easy to move out of the way when the dump truck people get here. Oh, there's a gopher hole near my liquid amber tree. I'm gonna have to get a trap out here. You smell him? Anyway, so anything that's going to be easy to move out of the way, um, I think is going to be easy for her to move under, get under or whatever. So I think what we're gonna do is get some electrified poultry netting and put across there. Um, she's actually already trained to that, so she knows what it is and not to touch it. So I'm gonna be ordering that today. Walking a new dog is always interesting. Getting tangled up in the leash. It's hard to get her on camera because usually dogs are way out in front of you pulling on the leash, but she just doesn't do that. She just kind of waits, so. That's not, oh, you're getting my shoes all wet. I'm not wearing the right shoes for this kind of hike. You haven't been down here yet, have you? Don't eat my pomegranate tree. She kind of looks like a polar bear from one angle. And her head's down. My favorite part is her ears. They're so soft, they're like velvet. Well, right now they're wet, but still. Very velvety.
such a good dog. Such a good dog. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> so right now, this is her, her quarters. We have actual dog bowls coming today. She is getting better about coming in the garage, aren't you? Yes, you are. So busy with the dog, I forgot to feed the chickens. So I can't tell you 100% if these vibrating stakes for gophers work. I can tell you I had them in three of the beds in the cottage garden and the gopher showed up in the one bed that this was not. So it doesn't not work. But since I found this gopher mound out here, I'm going to put one of these in the ground by this tree. Fortunately, it rained pretty good, so the soil is soft. All right, please work for me. I want to keep this tree. So from up here, you can kind of see uh, the area that Bill made down there for the Daisy slash Isabella enclosure. So we're going to start working on that pretty soon. I just want to finish the roof for the um, cottage. So like I mentioned, we're going to be closing that entrance with uh, electric poultry netting. And then pretty soon, after I've got the shelter built for the calf and dog, uh, this oleander is going to be coming out. And all this junk is going to be taken away. And I'm going to have a fence, four foot tall, four by four posts every however many feet. And then framed top and bottom with two by fours. And then having woven wire uh, fencing as the actual enclosure. And that's gonna run here, probably two feet in from the driveway, all the way down through this rosemary, You're gonna have to cut it back, all the way down here. And that fence will continue on down here. It'll probably, I'm not sure if it's gonna go on the other side of the avocado or this side of the avocado. But then at this point, right past the avocado, it's gonna go out at an angle and then run along here about 10 feet out from the patio and that's going to give us a 10 foot wide tropical section and then it's going to just run on down here curve around and then at some point go down and hook into the shelter down here and that's going to keep daisy and any other animals we have in the pasture area contained uh, I will probably build a doggy door into that fence where Bella can get through and into the rest of the property, but any other animals will have to stay in the pasture. All right, girl, I'm going to go do some editing on your very first video ever, and then I'll be back to play. And by the way, we've already started doing some gate training. Just walk up here near the gate. Just kind of hang out and see what she's going to do. and hang out with me well earlier when she started to come out past this line um i kind of jerked on the leash she did not want to go out i jerked on the leash and went ah, ah. sorry anyway she stopped and i gave her lots of love and said good girl and maybe it's already working she didn't want to go near the gate are you that smart are you that smart I think she just might be. Thank you guys for tagging along on this very exciting beginning to this new journey. And remember, in just two months, Daisy's here too. Gonna say goodbye, Bella? Gonna say goodbye? I'll meet you, little girl. See you guys next time.